morning guys it is wednesday 27th of october and i've just woken up it's a bit of a cloudy day today in leicester feels chilly autumn vibes coming in gonna go down and freshen up and then we shall make breakfast together so welcome back to my kitchen um, for breakfast we're gonna be making a mug dogla so I'm gonna be sharing the recipe with you so here I have um, half a cup of gram flour which I'm gonna add in a half a teaspoon of fresh chilies a cup of yogurt, salt to taste. I've added Himalayan salt here because it's just healthier, but you can add the regular um, table salt as well if you wish. Half a tablespoon of sugar. I've also got um, a quarter cup of water here, but I'm going to add it um, depending on how much I need. Um, depending on the consistency so just gonna go in and add a little bit to fold the batter and then if we require any more then you add it as you go along but I don't think I need any more than quarter cup to be honest consistency you're looking for and it's perfect for the batter so you can still create some swirls inside but it droops off it drips off sorry like so now we're going to add the fruit salt which is one of the main ingredients which is how the um dogla will actually rise so I'm adding about one teaspoon of fruit salt here and also a teaspoon of water. See that fizzing? That's the reaction. Then we're gonna and we're gonna fold the fruit salt with the batter very gently. Because if you mix vigorously here you're not going to get that soft, spongy um, dogla that you want. Very gently, just fold, no mixing. Just fold the batter. Going to use a spatula, since that's easier. Completely fold the mixture. And that batter there is ready to put in the microwave. So I've got two mugs here. And in here I'm going to make the dogla. So first, I'm going to grease it with some olive oil. Just so it doesn't stick to the sides. So here's the batter. Scooping it out with the help of this spoon because it's just easier. And we're going to fill it to half. Just a little bit more than half, about three quarters. to release any air bubbles 
now we're going to put these into the microwave for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. In they go. Now we're going to make the sugar syrup, sugar and oil syrup if you want to call it. Um, so I'm just going to add some oil. Turn the gas on. I'm going to add some mustard seeds. Some hing. And some curry leaves. And we're gonna let that cook for a little while. See that crackling? We're gonna add some sugar. Half tablespoon of sugar. Mix that. And then we're going to add some water. And cook that for a little while. OMG, look at this. <gasps> Let's take them out. Look how well they've risen. Oh my god, I love them. Now we're going to add the water and sugar syrup that we made um, to soften them even further. my breakfast and off to uni
just finished uni and I've come to make a stop here at Varsha's Pale Puri and Pani Puri. They do really nice um, street food, Indian street food. So I've just come here to pick some stuff up for the fam for the evening. Um, and yeah, they've told me there'll be about five minutes. So I'm just waiting in my car.